I think the part that hit us first was when you're hearing about tens of thousands of kids being abducted to be child soldiers in the longest running civil war in Africa and you don't know anything about it, which we didn't, we were shocked. When Shine Willable called me and said, we're gonna work in this film, before they even finished it, I said yes, because I was the juvenile incarceration. I wanted to learn about it, I wanted to talk about it. How can I be helpful? Since I was unaware of it, I also found out that many of my colleagues in Congress were also unaware of the plight of, of children in agriculture and their families. If you know people's story and, and you can be in their shoes, through film it's the best way to create empathy. I've been able to follow a lot of the young people that were in the film and know where they're at right now, so I'm still being optimistic and hopeful. It's like to my experience, to be honest, uh, when you're faced with a dire situation where you can't uh, do anything else but survive, uh, I think hope is, uh, for me, hope was my, my, my last thing. I mean, this is the only thing I couldn't lose. All I remember is, is growing up in the fields. Um, I have pictures of um, me and my siblings literally in boxes of cucumbers. Being at home and wanting so badly to just see him, just like give him a hug, just like talk to him. You don't get here by yourself, especially where you come from, where, where I come from. You need people to put their hand on you and go, you know, you're worth something and, and you can do this. Actually, you might think they don't have anything in common with the experiences of some of these kids and what they're going through. So when we heard about that music competition, that felt like, wow, all right, let's find a school whose kids might be telling that. Before the music, before I started to pick up a stick inside the play xylophone, it was very hard for me to just walk up to someone and start saying something and start thinking and to just start spilling out what was going through my head at the time. So I decided that I needed to be part of the change I wanted to see in the world. And so because of that, that was my motivation to be able to dedicate my life to being able to raise awareness on this issue, to be able to build power in my community and to demand some real solutions to be able to end um, this exploitation of children.